Hi guys, um, just wanted to give you a quick revision video on our awning brackets. Now we've made a slight modification to these, so I thought I'd, I thought I'd show you because we've had a couple of questions about them. Pretty simple, very similar setup to the, the previous awning brackets that we have. These ones just are, they just run in the opposite direction. So instead of running facing down, when you mount them, they just, they just lift your awning slightly. So what we find with this version is that you don't end up with your awning, especially the bigger awnings hanging down over the doors and your canopy. Um, it gives you a bit more height in the actual awning. So you've got a lot more clearance to get underneath it and stuff like that. It, it sits up nicely along the side of your, side of your actual tent, your rooftop tent. So we just find they're a better, they're a better unit than the, the older ones, I mean. Um, the older ones still work, but these ones are obviously better and improved. So they still come with same external one. You've got obviously a nut and bolt washers to mount mount through. Same setup. You've just got to sit them in place, mark it out with maybe even a chalk pen, something like that. Run your drill bit through. You just literally drill through at the rear, bolt the unit in. Same as the front, front's obviously same thing, height adjusted. You just gotta make sure when you're mounting these things that your tent is closed in the closed position. Obviously you have a gas strut on the side. Now these things are manufactured so that your awning clears, clears any gas strut. So you're not, you're not gonna have an issue with that. But you have gotta make sure that when you mount it, you mount it with clearance at the front for your gas strut. So that's why we, that's why we um, mark them out when they're closed. So you, you, you can mount it anywhere along the front, it doesn't, that doesn't matter, you just got to mount, make sure that you're not, you're not um, going to interfere with your gas strut when you mount that front, that front bridging awning. So, um, pretty simple, same as the rear, just mark your holes, little chalk pen, something like that, pile it, and then drill through 8mm drill bit, bolt it up and, and you're away. Mount your awning on there. Um, the only other difference with these is too, we've increased the size, increased the size of the hole centers for the rear of the awning. Some of these, some of these awnings these days are, are very big. So we've got, we've got a rear, a rear um, center with this slot. You can get up to 120 mil of um, purchase on that. So that's that's quite large. It should cover most of your 270s or any really large awnings. So obviously check with your manufacturer of your awning prior to that or just measure it before you ring us and, and, and just, just to make sure it's going to work. But these things are a really strong bracket too. Obviously the way that they're made, that they, they run the size of the side of our, the chassis on the, on the actual tent. We all know that the tent's strong, strong as, just the way it's folded. So, but that, that's it, that's all they do. It's very simple, very easy. Should be no confusion. They come in a, right, a um, driver's side and a passenger side. Um, and that's about it. If you've got any questions, guys, just give us a call. Hit us up at campingindustries.com or just give us a call. Easy.